I would like to talk about doing collaboration in OKMind okay Map. Once after you um, made a OKMind okay Map, you will be able to share this with this map with other people. You have to uh, uh, open this to the public. Go to Transform and sh uh, Share of the menu and Map Share and Sharing Settings. Add shares. So you like to open this map to other people to view it and also to edit it, to collaborate and add these things and you can see uh, that this map has accessibility to other uh, public people for this permission. And come back here uh, for OK. Um, you can uh, now you can uh, people can connect this map using uh, this map address otherwise they can connect from map open and in the public map they can see the public map here uh, this is the public map I ah, just opened opened either way they can access this one and they can collaborate on their own computer using their own browsers but uh, just for the uh, demonstration purpose, I just opened the uh, same map in my computer with three browsers. So just uh, make your imagination that three map really uh, exist on each different um, student's uh, desktop later on. Okay, first the demo will be about making class roster. So uh, let's suppose this is uh, a teacher's mind map, teacher's view, and if teacher like to assign every mm, a student on the uh, on the row and the column of, of the seat they are on, so he can tap and make her uh, okay. Uh, this is useless one and this is first row have three person in the front row and probably there are some people sitting in the second row and you ask the people to uh, make their own to fill up their own information according to the seat they are uh, sitting Mm, probably uh, people here is a student's name is uh, let's say A Smith and students who sit here uh, probably let's say is a B car or whatever okay okay you can see so uh, they can uh, just fill up fill up their information on the on the uh, node which is correspond to their sitting place and they can collaborate collaborating making roster according to their seat number uh, they can also uh, add their images just like you did previously art k and the web images of his uh, students uh, face or if they have a, a local information they can unload it okay if he's a famous, probably he has some uh, his image on the internet. Not like, not most likely. Okay. Oh, um, I just okay. Let's just make it one more map here. Another way to uh, use for collaboration for my uh, mind map is using it for quiz. Probably he like to a stu uh, teacher like to give us some. Um, quiz about what is 1 plus 1 okay and students will see and uh, student A might like to enter his uh, answer here and student B also like to enter his ones here and students can see that uh, two students is just waiting to input their answers to this question and uh, a uh, teacher is supposed to give uh, to make a comment to enter 
right? So they are awaiting his uh, uh, response. And uh, probably uh, student B is waiting and writing some answers and waiting his order to type enter, okay? And for the same thing, uh, student A probably enter the answer and waiting for answer uh, for, for the order. So uh, simultaneously according to the command of stu uh, teacher, they just enter and enter and it is instantly appear on the uh, mind map. The result you can see it. And the student B found out that this, uh, A is wrong and probably he like to change it. Like, uh, oh, it was 2. Okay, uh, that's the problem. But you can uh, avoid this kind of problem if you use uh, the function of a timeline. Timeline function of a OK mind map. For here, for in the map, basic map, timeline allows you to see uh, the map stage when you save it each time. Okay, so when map is changing every time, you just control type control S. Okay, control S. So right after they enter the uh, answers on the map, you just type control S. Okay. That one, uh, that thing is uh, recorded, recorded on the timeline, and you go here, and you will see the timeline here, in which he recorded all the history of the change. Okay, so current is this, but previously the map was uh, uh, empty. Node was three to one. Okay, you can see, and previously it was none. There was none. Okay, so by this way you can check uh, the exact stage, time stage of the map, uh, so that you can be more strict about assessment of students' quiz result. Uh, but more than this, uh, it has some good uh, functionality as a OK Mind Map has a good functionality as icebreak. Okay. So when people s uh, they are met uh, together, it's first time. Probably you can ask them to introduce about themselves. Oh, this is students view. Uh, probably students A and introduce himself about from Ohio and uh, bike is my hobby. Okay, things like that. And probably students B is typing like a from Texas. But his uh, hobby is also bike, whatever. And uh, after a certain amount of time, you can ask to uh, add a reply to other people. So students A might uh, like this posting and uh, he uh, may reply on this oh mine is two something like this okay so this is the way it works for ice break many people enter their uh, their introduction as a map and after a while they can uh, reply to each other and, and it is really good it has a really good effect on ice breaking for the new comers uh, group activity. Uh, once after you made a uh, uh, mind map, probably you are both might, might not like the mind map format. And you'd better to bring this information as the uh, more like a word process format. Mm. Okay, mind map support to export these things as a uh, HTML or a text uh, file format too. Uh, but if you like, you can do it uh, briefly on the map also. Uh, click here and uh, export to text. Okay. And you'll be able to see that everything is exactly 
uh, aligned as uh, a conventional word process uh, style. I can make a copy of this one and if you have uh, some other word processor you can probably make a copy of that one like this and your boss will be happy about that conventional way of writing uh, minute and also there's a one uh, things you can uh, share the information of your own of Facebook okay so you can import to FNS Facebook okay. and uh, once you uh, record allowed your application uh, for your Facebook posting access it next time it asks about the limit of postings you like to bring from your pa uh, Facebook and you just type okay this is second time it does it this way but uh, if you first time it will ask more information for uh, app uh, app uh, accessibility grant grant procedure okay and uh, it also supports the bookmark bookmark is a service I like to because it's a web based bookmarking service and uh, I have account on there and I did some work on there and uh, probably I like to bring 10 from 10 uh, bookmarks from the delicious okay and uh, one good thing about this is it uh, uh, categorize the bookmark information according to their uh, tagging information and with that one you can just access by link is al alive so you can uh, access the link with that uh, uh, mind map uh, web link capability and this one this display also shared with other people so each other each students can do their own uh, SNS uh, access and that uh, valuable information can be uh, can be shared using mind uh, okay mind map service